So a few years back when I was still parking cars at the strip club, I ran into an old friend, an old colleague actually. I wouldn't really refer to him as a friend, he's someone I used to work with. We used to park cars together at the very first valet job I ever had in Vegas. You know, it's been 10 years since I saw this guy and he pulls in in a brand new Audi, he's wearing a suit, and I start like shooting the shit with him for a brief minute before he goes inside the club. Now, I worked at the Spearmint Rhino and if you've ever been to Vegas, you know that it's a really busy strip club. And we used to have a lot of industry people come in because they'd have clients that they would bring in and it was just, you know, a regular place where people would come in after work sometimes and running into people that you might know or have worked with is pretty common. But this experience was a little weird for me because I had worked with this dude doing the same exact job that I was currently still doing. And he had moved on to become the general manager of one of the biggest nightclubs in Vegas at the time. And it was just weird because it really made me feel like I had wasted a lot of time. And it made me feel like I stuck around with something for too long. And it made me feel like I, I was just such an underachiever and I was just so lazy. All that time had passed and this dude moved on to like a really good career and was making bank, you know, you, you work as a general manager at a nightclub in Vegas, especially the nightclub he was working at, he was killing it. And you know, it was it was just so weird to see him there in his brand new car and his nice tailored suit and he gave me his business card and it just made me feel like shit. It made me feel like, damn, how much time have I been wasting with my life? Like I could have easily done that. I had opportunities to move into management positions multiple times throughout my time working in Vegas. I had plenty of opportunities to go down that route. But I always was just kind of like the slacker. I was always the underachiever. I didn't want the extra responsibility of being a manager. I didn't want the extra duties of having to do that kind of job. I wanted to just park cars, make my money, go home and drink and play video games and do whatever it was that I was doing at the time because I just had no ambition and I had no drive. I had no desire to do anything better than what was just enough to get by. And that stuck with me for a while. I remember going home and telling my wife like how shitty I felt about that whole situation. And you know, Travis was super cool. He gave me his business card. He told me to hit him up if I wanted to go to the club, but I wasn't going to clubs at that time. I didn't care about that stuff. And in a weird way, like I could feel like he felt it too. Like, like I felt like he not intentionally tried to make me feel down about myself, but it was very much like, oh, you're still parking cars. You're still doing this. Like, man, you had so much potential and, and you're just parking cars, you know? It was a strange feeling. And maybe I was just projecting my own insecurities at that point in time, but it made me feel small and I, I made myself feel small, but it was also a wake up call for me. It, it made me start analyzing like a lot of people that I knew that I worked with when I was in my early 20s and like how far they had gone. Just recently, I, I accepted a new job offer. Um, and I know this is kind of big news because you know, the last time I kind of talked about my job, I was like in transition to a new job and I left my old job. And I don't really talk about a lot of this personal stuff because I've been trying to grow my channel and like pump out content that gets views and clicks. And when I do videos like this, these don't tend to do well. So, you know, I, I don't, I try to not be too personal, but I think that's going to change. And I don't want to digress off to another topic, but with this new job that I just took, I'm, I'm making a lot of money and I don't like talking about the numbers. I, I don't, I don't really like to put all my business out there. Like I'll talk about my YouTube numbers, but I don't really care to talk about my salary, but it is six figures and it's a lot of money. It's the most money I've ever made in my life. And ever since I learned to code, I, I've been making a little more and a little more and a little more. And, and now that I have five years of professional experience and how much software development is in demand, I, I knew that with my next move, I would make a, a lot more money than I was making before. And I think back to that moment and it's not like that moment, you know, was an epiphany for me, although it might've been a little bit, but it wasn't like what led me to go want to learn how to code. My kids have always been like my biggest motivator to like improve my life. And when, when I had my daughter and when my son was on the way, that's when I was like really focusing on trying to like become a programmer. This stuff, when I ran into Travis at the club, it was, before that and it wasn't like this kick started my drive I just you know 
did what I always did. I was like, oh, well, that that's that. And just went went on the parked cars the next night and didn't, didn't think much else of it until just recently. We always put our achievements in, in, a, in a number, right? We, we do it with YouTube, uh, how many subscribers you have, how many views you get, and we do it with money. In our society, we put a lot of status behind the amount of money that you make. And right now I'm making a good amount of money. And I know that that was one of the big things that made me feel really shitty that I was just like, man, if I would have done something different with my life, I would be making as much money as Travis was making. I would, I would be in a, in a position where he was in like making bank and, you know, doing well for myself. And now six years later, seven years later, however, however long it's been since that happened, I'm able to say like, okay, like I, I've done something with my life. Um, and it's a really good feeling. It's strange because like I said, I never really cared to do more than just enough to get by. And now I have so much more drive and ambition and I'm almost 40 and like I'll be 38 this year, which is just crazy to think that I, I wish I would have had this ambition and drive when I was 20 years old, but I, I didn't. And, and a lot of people don't, but I was able to change and do a lot at an older age in my 30s when most people feel like that's it right that's over the hill like you're pretty much the person you're going to be when you're 30 years old if you're working at mcdonald's at 30 you're going to be working at mcdonald's for the rest of your life if you've parked cars for the last 10 years and you're parking cars at a strip club when you're 30 years old you're probably going to be parking cars for the rest of your life and i'm so happy to say that that's not true if you focus hard and you work on things that you want to do and you are able to realize what it is that you want and you put that time in and you put that work in, you can get to where you want to be. And now I'm in a position financially, at least with my job, I'm good. I'm good. Like I can keep doing this for, for the next 10 years and, you know, have, have good money saved up and, and I'm living the dream right now. And it's so strange because it's a weird feeling because I'm a very like pessimistic person and I'm always waiting for like the next bad thing to happen. And I think that's just because the way I was raised and, and always just feel like something's around the corner to screw me over, but it's not the case. And I got to get over that. And I was really happy to think like how far I've come from feeling like shit that I was parking Travis's car and now I'm doing pretty damn well for myself and providing for my family and really have a lot to show for all the work I've put in over the last few years to get to where I'm at now. So just remember, it's never too late to improve yourself. If you've got that Travis in your life that came around and made you feel like shit about where you're at, use that as motivation. I didn't at the time, but it probably would have been a good motivator for me to, to take that more seriously and to make that have more of an impact on me at the time. And it's funny that I thought about it so much later on since it's been a while since that happened, but I just, you know, little food for thought. And that's kind of going to be some of the stuff that I start making videos on just little things that I, I think of and little things I want to make videos on, on this channel to, to help people out there who might be feeling a certain way like I do sometimes. All right. With all that said, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.